Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to learn about a module in random that is very very handy. But first of all, I just want to make sure if you have not subscribed yet, now is the time to go ahead and do that because I don't want you to miss any of these awesome videos because we do have them coming out once a day and I don't want you to be lost or not sure where I did something because these are starting to build because this one right here we're gonna do some more uh, shortly after this and we're gonna use this method so alright let's just go ahead and jump into it so we got alright so we run dir on random and okay so we've learned what rand rand int is it's a random integer but now seed this is weird and random and by random it's called pseudo random and all that is is a fancy way to say random numbers but random numbers that can be generated in a specific fashion so let's just let's just do this and I'll show you what I mean so for I in range let's just do 10 numbers so we can see it on the screen print I well I'm sorry um, actually let's change this from random import randint. now if you do not know what this is go back and watch my random or my import video because it talks about the difference between from and import and what the difference is because you can specify just parts of the package so all right and it zero through ten so okay and I forgot another parenthesis boom actually let's go over that for a second so I'm here see how this it didn't go down to the next line and indent properly that's how I know that I forgot one of my parentheses. Okay, I'm here, I'm done, let's print it out. So, two, four, six, panic for a second. I'm like, are these all even? Uh, two, four, six, eight, four, three, two, three, six, nine, ten. So now, now let's check this out. So let's run this again, and they should be different. So, ten, two, six, nine, zero, seven. So now, now let's do this. So, okay and seed as you can see right here this is a method inside the random so I'm just going to import so I'm going to import randint and seed so now the first two times they were different right so I'm going to set seed to one two three so I get zero four one six I'm gonna run, so we ran this without seed we got two separate scenarios correct so now I'm gonna run this again watch what happens if you look really really closely these are exactly the same and by pseudo random it takes I believe it's the square root then it takes the last number of that then goes from there but when you set seed you're setting it to a certain starting point and you might say well why in the world would you want to do that well there are times when you want to test something and make sure that just like the scientific method you have a result you want to be able to repeat it well if you have a scenario and you're dealing with random numbers you want to give it the same random numbers and make sure you get the same result so when you turn it loose in the wild you know it's functioning absolutely correctly so this is a quick crash course <clears throat> excuse me on the seed method inside random so there we go and we're gonna build on this uh, very very soon because we're gonna grab we're gonna grab something and do some pretty cool tests so all right well thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell and we'll see you next time bye guys